Hi, it's Richard and John, RJ Coins, part number 43 of our £2 head-to-head -head challenge. Getting very close to the end now. John still needing five, including three Commonwealths. But had some great luck in the last couple of hunts for myself and just down to the Beijing handover. So, can the luck continue? John, I think we'll be getting 13 bags this time around. I think from now on, John will have 13 bags all the way in because he's in desperate need of catching up on the sheets. I think I've even leveled the episode score as well. So pole position for Team R. Am I picking them or are you? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. There we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Can we finish off that sheet? Can Team R take the win? Not from that first bag. So it's been frustratingly difficult to fill the last spaces, but we have had some great luck in the last few hunts again. So I do really want that to continue. But not a good start. And doesn't look any better than that. So three bus bags to start with. That's an ominous sign. <laughs> we'll show this one first. We shall show the skull, the Shakespeare's tragedies we'll just check the edge inscription what a piece of work is a man quite an apt coin to find because it is truly a tragedy for john because the next one in the bag is the beijing handover the sheet is complete the you, game you, is you won peeking, peeking. I, I didn't peek at all you had the chance to pick the bags the Beijing handover completes Team R's sheet. The game is over. The competition is won. Team R is victorious. But we'll see what we find. Congratulations on second place, John. Got an NHS, Florence Nightingale. So only 43 episodes to complete a full set. And we're very, very close to um, to two full sets. John's not that far off. A very nice conditioned gunpowder plot. Don't see too many of those in that condition. Kitchener, it's got the two pounds on it, so not the mule error. I think therefore this will be the last episode of this series, a bus bag there. I don't think we'll carry on just until John completes his sheet. Got an 1807 Act of the Abolition of the Slave Trade. So very much got to think of something new to do because the bag for life has finished as well. I did mention today if you asked me what what was next as the, uh, the bag was empty and I did um, 
You've got a comedies. I did say I'm just going to retire. I'll save that one till last as well. Another cracking find. Which will go some way to uh, making this a fantastic hunt. A really lovely condition again. Navy Centenary. I think I'm up to somewhere close to 70, 75 centenaries that I've got. Navy Centenaries. That's always a lovely find. Hideous fake. Look at that. Horrendous fake. We'll take that any day when there's a Bayesian handover in the rest of the bag. Act of Union. No rotation on that one. So talking to Dave just a second ago, he did uh, find a rotation error on an Act of Union. Not a sniff of one of those there. in that bag so my last bag not that it matters we have a Dickens and another act of union again no rotation Let's stack those up. All of those unimportant. That one, very, very nice. Beautiful condition. 650,000 minted Navy Centenary. But the best, the winning coin for today. A Beijing handover. Completing Team R's sheet and winning the competition. Let's see if John can salvage at least a bit of pride from his part of the hunt. There's been plenty of times through this, I and mean, certainly through hunts, probably early 30s to, to late 30s, those 10 hunts were pretty awful, but I remember rightly, and uh, never thought we'd get anywhere close, it didn't really seem that it was going nowhere for a bit, and then all of a sudden a big rush at the end, and here we are, we've completed it. Formidies. Rugby World Cup. Bust. That could be a damp squib to finish for John. Chucking the coins at me now in disgust. I'm not gloating, I'm not gloating at all, I promise. Robert Burns. Nice little find. And a 15 Britannia. That's in good condition as well. So, same mintage as the uh, Navy Centenary, 650,000. Lovely find. Super shiny 15 there, not a rotation. Dickens and a tragedies with the Norwegian inscription. 
definitely needed that uh, error edge inscription to have a chance today. Not that you've really got a chance at all. Not that I've mentioned that at all, have I? I haven't mentioned that I've won at all, have I? No, no not at all. No. Vivek. A couple of those for rotations as well. Don't think we have. No. Bust. Two bags to go. Just two bags needed to find three Commonwealths, a Beijing handover, and a King James Bible. Can you do it? Two histories. Which of course is what you are. You are history. It's over. And a bust. And a bust to finish it off. So, a very nice Britannia. And a decent Burns, but not quite enough. Congratulations, John. You may shake the hand of the winner. <laughs> Grudgingly. And let's um, put that final coin. If we can get it. The little placeholder out. There we go. Let's put that final coin. I'll let you have the pleasure of putting that in, John. Okay. Unless you feel part of the win, then. Oh, dear. There we go. So the placeholder comes out. Can't see, Can't see that. Oh, there we go. Placeholder comes out. And we have a completed sheet of two pound commemorative coins. A win for Team R. Hopefully you'll smash that like button. Put in the comments what you thought of the uh, the head-to-head -head series. And we'll see you again very soon. Thank you.